I need high quality content to rank? This is a question I receive time and time again. And I want to point out that there is a massive difference between high quality content that ranks and high quality content that converts. These are two separate things. You know, do I need high quality content? Should I be paying these writers? Like, do I need this? And I tell them, hey, in order to rank, we need to get optimization. If we want to convert, that's a whole nother story. So what I want to do is I want to walk you through this and, and there, there's pages and pages. It goes on and on from reputable sources that give out the same exact, same ex jumble over and over again. So what I want to do though is I want to go ahead and share this with you. I did a search inside of Google Trends. Inside of Google Trends, what this is, if we take a look here, I did SEO and this is interest over time. So what this is showing is the, the interest for SEO. But if you come down here, this is going to say the interest by subread. So where are the most people flocking or looking or, or doing or looking for this term? Now, what you're going to see is New York is number two. It fluctuates between number one and number two, signifying difficulty level or the difficulty score of this term. So what I went ahead and did is I had a throwaway project, right? And that's what I want to walk you through to SEO content writing video. I really need high quality content to rank, which is a question that I get quite. I want to walk you through the optimization and just point out some key key elements of the page. You can make a decision for yourself as well. But I want to point this out that this is one of the most competitive areas. And with that being said, not only is it one of the most competitive areas, but it's also one of the most competitive niches. So if we're looking for a New York SEO expert, not only are we going to go up against other SEOs, but we're also going to go up against SEOs in the most competitive. What an SEO patriot. I want to pay homage to an SEO patriot and I want to see if high quality content can still rank, especially in one of the most competitive niches and in one of the most competitive places. And I salute you, sir, for your hard work. In any case, now let's go ahead and get into this. So New York SEO expert, we can go ahead and do a quick search here. We're going to go ahead and scroll on down the uh, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this now. Not too impressive. Number nine, even more fun is the number one top ranking page. If we click on this, it brings us to a blank, but here's where it gets even more fun. All right. When we take a look at this page, which is the initial page, this is the one that's closest to the root. This is also where I went ahead and built maybe 40 blog comments. Again, this was just a throwaway site. I was utilizing this site fun just for, and it just so happens that 13 days, maybe 14 days ago, I made some slight modifications to see if I could still create a very high quality content and see if I could get it to break first page. I wasn't going to take top positions, but I figured, hey, can I get it to the, how strong is on page SEO or how important is on page? That's really what we're testing or that's really what we're looking at. Twist to have, make sure that like, hey, that I, I'm not skipping a beat. Like, do I really need to spend? Do I really need this high quality content? Like that others are recommending to the people, to the people that I consult with the people that I talk to and I'm telling them, no, the difference, there's no difference between ranking content, but there is a difference between high converting content. We can rank it, but we need to make sure it's optimized for conversion. That's where, that's the difference. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and point this out and oh, so it's number nine here, but there's search history. So bear with me here. Let's go to new incognito window. We better, we better, that's, you have a point that probably thinking, yeah, but that's in your browser. So let's go ahead and do a search here. So what is it? New SEO expert. Now let's just go ahead and take a scroll on down. The so it was number nine in mine and that makes a lot of sense. So that was nine, number 10, number 11. So number 11, about to break the first page. And what makes this even more fun is that it's one of the most quality contents, one of the most competitive niches, and in one of the most competitive areas, the, the top. So if we go ahead and take a look at this, what I want to point out, and, and we'll go back over here because this is the same page. So I, I just wanted to make sure that they were checked it uh, previous, I think last night. So let's go ahead and get inside of here. Let's take a look at this. And I just want to point out a few elements I could pass on to you in order to get the optimization. So I'm going to point these elements out. To, all right. So for your SEO content writing, if you are actually writing your content, if you're writing it, right, it's handwritten, you have wrote and you have that aspect already done. Now, the key places that you want to make sure that you're in order to be optimized. And that's what I'm going to point out to you. First and foremost, we want to make sure that we're getting our key phrase in the URL that's up here. At the Next, we want to make sure that our key phrases are in the main navigational bar. When they come to a scan, you want to make sure everything is there.
there. So whatever your site is about, we want to make sure that we get it. Next, we want to make sure that we're getting our primary keyword inside of our H1 tag. Title of the page, New York SEO. We have the keyword in the URL, New York SEO, and then we have it in our H1. Those are the three most important. Next thing is, is our lead H2. I decided to go ahead and just one more time. As I was looking, it's very high. Added it one more time. And then next is in that very first sentence, body content. We made sure that we got our keyword in there. See here, and I made it an anchor text. Now, if we take a look at this content, as you can see here, what I did is I went out and I determined, and I'm sure that it's changed in the past. What I did is I, when I went out here to New York SEO, I went out here and I determined, okay, what are the top performers? I didn't take this because this is AI content, but I took a look at some of the top performers. Five, I added up all their word counts and then I divided by five. That gave me, as you can see, it's high quality content. Now, the next piece was I needed to figure out, okay, what are the other elements on the page? How many heading tags need to be on the page, right? So as you can see here, I don't know how many I used, but we have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 heading tags. Overall average based on the comp. So 19 heading tags. Next step is I need to figure out out of those heading tags, how many heading tags contain the primary keyword. To the competitors, top five, and I went and I took a look. How many of these heading tags are optimized? How many of them are not or have a partial? And then I did the math and what I figured out was this. So I went through here and in heading tags that were optimized, I went right for a keyword or a variation. And then in the non-optimized zones, I actually utilized something called a co-occurring keyword or an LSI term. So words like business, word new. <laughs> these words often come up when being spoke, when speaking about New York SEO X. Now the last thing, what, so let's just walk through it really briefly. Make sure that you're getting your keyword in the first. Next is figure out how many heading tags. You, then you need to figure out how many of those heading tags contain it. The next element after that was what other elements do I need on the page? Do I need a form? All right. And that was one of the things that I noticed was they had a very high image. So I just went in and just grabbed some random images, but I made sure to match the image. So I think it's, I don't know how many is here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10, 20, 30. What is there? 40 here. And then as you can see, come if you come down here into the bottom, all these are is another way way to uh, word count, get some embeds, you get some. So these are some of the elements that I wanted to point out as far as building out quality content. It's far different than high quality. The chances of me generating a phone call from this are about slim. It's really fun to test, really fun to make sure that these optimization scores, these places, these elements that I've been doing since are still pretty much now adding this, this type of stuff in here is take that straight from a SEO Patriot. And I want to go ahead and give that idea. I thought it was, I really liked how that was, I, I, I heard all kinds of jumble going on that it couldn't be it obviously is still not saying that this is the best way to go about it but i laid out the key things that i did in order to be able to rising it's on its way up it's just start i just changed this it's on its way up i utilized this website just for a drive step it was just to walk and i took everything down i erased all the factors inside the stack like i just removed everything like i didn't think anything of it but then i was like oh let me go in there and tune this that's exactly what i did i went in here and tuned this page up just to see how let's see what would happen let's see if it, everything is still the same. I even left the same footer, <laughs> but I think that's very interesting. In any case, my name's Chris Palmer. I hope that you've enjoyed today's SEO content writing video, how to create high quality SEO content that ranks, or do you even need high quality SEO content to rank? To sum this all up, I've walked through everything you'll need to optimize. I've walked through, do you need high quality content to rank? The answer is you do need high quality optimized content to rank. What's more important is once you have these key things, these key elements, elements in place. Let's make sure that we can convert. Them. My name's Chris Palmer. If you have any questions related to this SEO content writing video or any SEO content, SEO on page SEO, anything related to optimization, please ask below. And I always look forward to seeing you in the next SEO content writing, high quality SEO content. I'll see you in the next one.